Hey everyone, this is Wumbo, and today we're talking about efficient ways to get the altered element. You need this to focus Umbrella and Grimms on the Prismatic Recaster. I'll just be going over some ways you can get it quickly, things to look out for, and the most efficient way, in my own opinion. But before we get started, I'd like to shout out my Discord real quick. My Discord server was created at my 100 subscriber count, and I would like all of you to join. It's where I do most of my announcements regarding the channel and content I put out. So if you're on the server, you'll be the first to know with what's happening on the channel. Other YouTubers that are featured on my channel are also there, so stop by. Hope to see you there. But back to the video. So the altered element is surprisingly easy to get, believe it or not. I was getting so frustrated whenever I had an abundance of umbrella engrams, but uh, <laughs> no altered elements to help me get that cold denial god roll, you know. By the way, I might do a video on the cold denial, so leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's just go over some of the already known ways to get the altered element. Something to keep in mind is the triumphs and achievements you get along the way this season, because some of them give 50 of the element. Not a lot, but better than nothing, so just keep watch on your triumphs tab. The not-so-quick way is uh, doing the weekly reset mission, where you go and talk to Eris at the biracial tree. That always gets you about 200 of it, but it's very time-consuming. Those are the slower ways of getting the element, so let's speed things up a bit. Now, in alright way, doing the daily bounties on all three characters. Doing that will give you about 100 each guardian, so 300. A good way of trying to get the altered element is by doing nightmare hunts. They also drop towards the, the end of the hunt, I believe it's 100. And those are the slightly more annoying ways of getting altered element, but good payout. Now for my personal favorite way of trying to get it going planet to planet and doing both weekly bounties from the vendors. Each bounty gives you 150, which means that's about 300 per planet. This was a rather short video indeed, but I seriously hope it helped you out. I was having trouble getting this too, so I just wanted to attempt to make your day easier. Just some tips, you know, I don't want to make it like, oh boy, come check this out and whatnot, but whatever. Um, anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. You don't have to do any of those things, but I'm asking you, so please. Alright, thank you once again, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.